Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to look into field parameters and how to make these field parameters dynamic. When I say dynamic, I mean that if we really want to make changes to the field parameters, we don't want to come into the model and make the changes. Rather, we will store the field parameters metadata outside somewhere and then we will use that to update or make changes to our field parameters. Let's look at Power BI report and walk through the solution. Okay, so what I have here is I created one field parameter. Uh, again, there are a lot of videos around how to create field parameters. I'm not going to walk through that. I just created one, uh, added one column in the field parameters. That's the starting point and the uh, that column is color and uh, it's coming from the product colors and the order is uh, zero for it. This is just the default when you create parameters and automatically this information get added to it. And uh, now I use the parameter in the slicer here, uh, color, and also showing a field parameter here on the rows and then the sales. So basically, uh, right now there is only one column in here in the field parameters and uh, uh, nothing is nothing is changing and the question comes is how about if we really want this field parameter to uh, to store like we want to add more columns to it or we want to remove some columns if required and uh, what's the right way to do it should we come to the power bi model come make the changes and republish it in the service or can we uh, develop it in a such a way that it can use the external source as uh, uh, the information to get fed into the field parameter table. So what I did here is um, I created a, another table in the model and uh, I just manually created this table right now by uh, entering data and then that is what is can come from any external source. Maybe it is stored in the SharePoint somewhere or some Excel sheet or some database somewhere. And uh, what this table contains is, it contains three columns. Uh, if we look into this table, I called it my parameter metadata. It has a parameter name, the name what we want to see in the, in the slicer, the column. Now this is very, very important. When we look at the column, we just want to make sure the table name and the column name is in correct uh, exactly the correct uh, name because otherwise it would not work and parameter order how we want to see this in the list like this is the sort order and it has to be a unique value once we have this table coming from external source again this could be stored in an excel file it could be coming from some other uh, backend system but once we have these three columns we can now really I use these to extend our field parameters. To do so, what we need to do is, uh, let's go back to our, uh, the, the field parameter which we created in Power BI. What we're gonna do is, first we're gonna store this information by default, this line has been added. So assuming this is just a temporary placeholder, when we created a field parameter, pick any column, does not matter. We just pick one column from our tables and it created this uh, uh, information for us. So what we need to, we're gonna store um, this in a variable. Let's call it parameter table. And now what we can do here is, um, we can append our external table into this, uh, in the, this table. So that's pretty straightforward. What we can do is union, and then we can take our parameter table, and then the external table which we created, I call it my parameter metadata. And we want to make sure there are same number of columns are there in that particular table. And also the order of the column has to be correct. Like the first column will be the parameter name, what we see, and then the parameter field and the parameter order. And uh, so what we, because in my case, because the order is correct, I'm just gonna directly uh, append that with the union that uh, particular table my external table to my parameter table which is created within the power bi 
So once we do that, what we will see here is, um, once this append finishes, uh, we will see all the columns, the existing column, which was just a color, and the other col col uh, columns as well, which is coming from our external table. Now, when these, uh, again, going back to our external table, the order of the column is very, very important. And if the order of column is not the same, what we can use is we can uh, use the select columns in our expression and use that um, uh, to put it in the right order. So now one thing you want to see is uh, we already have a color column here and then I also added the product color column here as well. So we don't want because this the first time when we created the parameter in Power BI we just created added one column and just put that as in a placeholder to create the configure the field parameter internally. So what we need to do is go back to our expression what we added here and what we can do here is we can filter our internal parameter table which is we created within Power BI we can say parameter table value 3 the value 3 is basically is the sort order right if you look at the first is the column name and then the column field and uh, and then the order number and order number as I said is a unique and when we create it by default within Power BI uh, when we create a parameter um, uh, fields in Power BI uh, field parameter in Power BI, it automatically gave it start from the zero and then so forth so on. So what we can, the, so that is the value three column. So we can say value three is not equal to value three. So what does this mean is this is going to be false and it will not return any row. And but then we are appending our own parameter table to it and then that it will remove this existing parameter column uh, from the field parameter and then add our uh, our parameter ex from the external source. So now let's see what happens because we, we added this just for putting as in a placeholder. Now what we have here is our color is gone and um, that existing column, the color column has gone and now we have our own hierarchy. Again, if I go back and change my parameter metadata, let's say it is coming from external source and I really make a change to it and uh, when the data refresh my field parameter will change so this really makes it very dynamic we don't need to come into the model and make the changes but this has been now controlled from external source now one more thing we can extend to this is now there are so many field parameters we can uh, so many columns in here let's say we also want to add the grouping uh, to it so all the calendar related table like there's a month year date we want to change the sort order for these ones and uh, and uh, we also want to group them into a specific um, group so we can actually control that as well so for grouping let's remove the changes which we made and then first add the group to our base uh, field parameter table which was created within power bi and then we enhance our metadata so i'm um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, put everything in um, comments for now so this is our uh, when we created the field parameter this was the original uh, 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 line of code uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to add two columns to it uh, we're going to use add columns uh, dax function and the first column we're going to call uh, group and we're just going to give it a value group because it's just a placeholder and then we're going to add another column called group order and we're going to give the value zero because that's like a first group. So now if we uh, apply these changes, what we will see in our existing parameter field, now we have two more columns, um, uh, parameter table, we have two more columns, group and group order. Let's select the group and sort it by uh, group order. So that's the first thing. So we just want to make sure the grouping show correctly. So in the, in the right now we have only one column and one group and what we can do is if we bring the group up in here so it will show group and then the color underneath it so this is the base is now created um, what we need to now since we have this what we need to do is let's go back and enhance our metadata so what we're gonna I already have that in in transform data if we go in power query in my parameter metadata I have three columns right now and I removed two other columns which I already had there. One is the a 
parameter group and the other one is parameter group order so I have these columns already there and so basically I'm putting my month year and date into calendar group and I'm putting my um, uh, country and state in geo and the product and this is uh, I want to make sure my calendar sh sh group show first and then geo and then the product so let's apply these changes so now our um, so once these changes are applied our metadata table has now two more columns for grouping so uh, again uh, I, I mentioned uh, a few minutes ago that we when we append the tables we want to make sure the order of the columns uh, is the same otherwise it will not align so what what can, we can do here is we can let's uh, go back to our store our uh, field parameter table in a variable and also store our metadata table in a variable here so that we can define the order of the columns the way we want so we are not relying on the order coming from the uh, backend system so we are creating our own order so what we're going to do is select columns from our parameter metadata table again we're going to do the first column what we need is the parameter so that is uh, or is called the parameter name but anytime we refer to a column name anywhere in the model as a best practice we must give the name of the table so the first one is parameter name and the second one is parameter that's the name of the columns what we want and that is uh, parameter column and uh, parameter and the third one is parameter order so this would be my and that is my parameter parameter order and then let's call it group that is my parameter group and the other one is group order so that is my parameter group order so now we use the parameter metadata and created stored it in a variable and uh, we specified the order of the columns the first one is this second third fourth and fifth so now this would align with our by default parameter table uh, which was created uh, when the field parameter was created and we added two more columns on top of that which is group and group order now if we union these together append together what we have is now instead of using my parameter metadata here i'm going to use this variable uh, which is parameter metadata and we are still applying the filter because the default field parameter which we created that is just to create the placeholder and then we will removing that and just using everything from our metadata and we if we apply these changes now so let's look at the slicer right now so what we have is now we have a calendar which shows month year date we have a geo and then we have a product and they are showing in the order in which we want so let's see if we want to change the order um, we want or in this case the product category is spelled wrong and product color we want before product and product we want as the first and then calendar we want the last and here we want the first instead of coming to the power bi and making those changes now we can drive these changes from the uh, from our table so let's go to transform data and make these changes and see if this works so what we're going to do here is go back to my parameter metadata and go to the source let's fix these change, uh, changes again this data can come from some external source as well so we want our year to be first within that group and then month and then the uh, uh, date and country state rest everything is fine when we come to the group order we want our uh, let's product color is come before product uh, actually fix, fix the spelling here product category so what we want is our product category to first and then we want our to be a product color which is seven and the eight this is really important because this order this has to be unique and then the product group and again the group order has to be unique based on the grouping you have here is let's say i want this to be third i don't want this to be the first uh, i want my product to be at the first and then my geo at the center uh, is always two seconds so okay if you apply these changes close and apply 
So what would we see all of a sudden this will change here and um, now we have a product at the top and the product category color the spell spelling of the column name has been changed product color and product country and state and then we shown the calendar and that's a year month date so now what we have is um, we have really a, a solution which is purely field parameter solution which is very very dynamic coming from external source and couple of things which we have to be really, really careful when we're creating external metadata the parameter field uh, the value in the parameter field has to be the table name and the column name has to be uh, uh, exact what is in our model uh, and the group order and the parameter order has to be uh, uh, unique uh, in terms of how, how we create those and again um, we can really um, uh, take it to the next level if tomorrow there is no geo uh, is required we can remove that so basically we can we can now externally group the columns in in the way we want it we can change the order of the columns we want it we can change the display name of those columns the way we want it and we can really control everything and now field parameter and now it gives the full a value a user has the full power how they want to interact with this report so uh, i think this is really really great uh, how you can really control this uh, let me know what do you guys think about this video uh, do you have any comments or did you ever able to use this in the past um, do subscribe my channel and load more videos are coming on this and um, until next video have a great day thanks for watching bye for now